Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. It has been an entire week since I have logged into this account, since my laptop melted down on me. But guys, gals, and non-binary pals, we are back, baby. Finally, the last piece of my kit turned up. I've got my monitor right in front of me. I'm diving straight on in because, because, where are my teleports? Where are my teleports? Unos momento. Fuck. Okay. The reason I'm struggling here, something I, I do need to do that I've just stopped the timer for. I need to change my F keys because this keyboard layout is different. So I've been having them all just up one from what they previously were rather than using the escape key. Okay. Now I feel like I can actually do stuff. I'll put this back on. We're back, folks! We're back! I'm so eager. I am such an eager beaver today that I even have started recording this at 3.30, which means I'm going to miss 4.20, and I'm completely fine with it. It's, it's fine. We don't care. I just, I'm happy to be back. I've missed the account so much for the past week. A part of my life has been missing. Legit. That might be super sad but it is the way that it is and i'm just glad that we're finally back baby I'm, I'm buzzing we are gonna need to remember how to do things though so today probably gonna be hella inefficient not gonna lie apologies in advance for my terrible gameplay new mouse new keyboard new computer new monitor everything is new so there's gonna be a bit of teething issues here but as i'm sure you can probably tell already my graphic settings a lot higher now than they were before the break and if you weren't keeping up with the community posts and stuff that i've been posting to give you an update my laptop kind of just imploded it wasn't like an actual explosion or anything but yeah it stopped working i couldn't play games or edit or even just like watch a video on youtube i couldn't do anything so i got a brand new rig forked out a grand I hadn't spent any money for ages, so I kind of had some stacked up that was disposable income. And I almost bought a new gaming chair, and I'm so glad I didn't now because I needed it for this. But we are finally back in action, y'all. Hopefully, all my settings are good. It's probably going to take me a couple episodes to figure out like what the best recording settings and everything are on this device. Uh, but the capabilities of it are far, far superior the previous so we should be all good in that regard i am trying to do my farm run with relative decency but it is gonna be hella slow because i'm just not in the flow of one hour limit locked uh, and our actual goal for the day is also gonna get pushed back a bit because we need to go to miscellanea it's been oh, like a week since we checked it so we'll go top it up with some more cash and reset it all get our uh, favor back up and yeah and after we've done miscellanea figured out everything over there i am going to start the magic grind we're gonna swap onto ancients and we are gonna get back to bursting the armored zombies in zimorogol's base and this time it's going to be far better. I'm speaking it into existence. So there's no way I can be wrong. Where's next? Where's next? Camelot. 
I don't really need to be alking anymore, but it's nice to just get it in. I've only got like 50 darts left, so I may as well just finish off these ones that I have here. Can't see myself buying new ones, really. Very decent haul on the Aventors today, not complaining at all. I'm just going to check at the house pool here if there's any houses with... How are there no houses on the house party world? Okay, I'll go to the American one. I probably should have checked that before starting. Now it's just straight on in, basically, as soon as this turned up. All right, what do we want? An occult altar. Yep, only from this portal. Okay, there's none here. So we're going to have to go to Remington anyway. No problem. Let's go to the Grand Exchange. Need to get this awful music to stop playing. Turn that down a bit, actually. And somebody else already got staffs there. But we'll get our daily ones. Missed out loads of these. We'll go back to the Grand Exchange. I'm probably not going to worry about the birdhouses at the end of the day today. I can't see myself caring too much about the end of day birdhouses going forwards. We're sort of having that discussion in the last episode. Or I was with the camera of... Is it worth it to do these anymore? And I think what, what I've landed on is start of the session we'll do birdhouses and herbs. But we'll skip the end session one most of the time. Right, we want a wealth. We want a skills necklace. And we would also like a jeweling ring. Let's get an axe to go with them. And that is all we need to get ourselves over to miscellanea. Fuck that tree before we begin. Nine days. Or no, it loses one a day. So it's like 11 days since I claimed, maybe? Is it a 1% or one approval? I'm not sure. There are losers per day. I think it's 1%. I don't know. Nine to 11 days. Yeah, it was, it was a bit of a stressful week, I'm not going to lie. There's a woodcutting level. 50 off the bat. We're getting straight on into it today. No funny business, no messing around. Only straight woodcutting gains to 100% reputation. My screen also is about twice the size of the one I'm used to. So I'm still getting used to that. I feel like I have to turn my head to look at different areas rather than just moving my eyes. <laughs> It literally turned up like 20 minutes before I started recording this, so I'm not used to it at all yet. Almost there. One more cut. Go, 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 go. Oh, I've missed being on this account. I'm not even doing anything exciting. I've just fucking missed it. A part of my life has been gone genuinely. Check our allocation. Everything looks to be in order here. How about we just slap an extra 1M in there, because I can't be able to do the math. Thank you very much. Now we'll collect. We'll have all that. Cheers, mate. Over to the Grand Exchange. Cash in. See what the cash stack is up to. Okay, there's about 700k in herbs in the GE there, but I'm not desperate to get the money immediately, so I'm just going to leave it for now. Because I am eager to get out on the way. Maybe I'll change the prices where I haven't looked at them. I just put them all in at whatever the default was. Did not look all. Right, I've literally never used anybody else's house in RuneScape before. The only time I tried... Oh no, I have. I've been into EVScape's house. I gave him a donation to bring me a shrubbery. And he didn't get the reference. So, F for that. Yeah, can I just... How do I enter house? Okay. Where's the altar? Why am I having to look around to find the altar? Why is the altar not immediately visible? It's there. It was hiding behind a wall. Oh, cool. You're going to make me run around your entire house. All right. Fuck this guy. Before we begin. Never using this house again. What a shit layout. Seriously. What an absolutely terrible layout. Right. We're off onto Ancients. We're going to reset okay i am gonna put scurry away because i'm scared for him i may die today i'm not confident that i won't die once i've been there for a day and figured out what it's like again maybe i'll be less confident uh less unconfident more confident oh, i didn't buy runes did i what have we got here not enough but we're gonna need more deaths and more bloods Okay, so this is going to take some money to buy runes, but that's fine. We've got plenty of money to work with at the minute. Let's get a thousand blood runes. 
And a couple thousand death runes. Oh, the blood runes aren't mine. Uh, I'm gonna need waters too. So we'll get shit on them. Put the bloods up some more. There we go. Okay, so we've got this. This, this, this. Then we're gonna want the blood bark for the other slots. Because the plus one magic damage, so our prayer is going to be draining today quite a bit. We do have a dragon bone necklace on though, so that's okay. But yeah, our prayer is going to suffer today, y'all. That's okay. We'll just spend prayer pots. I'm not worried about it. Let's just take all six of these. Let's get a dueling ring and our Varrock teleports. Not our Varrock teleports, a dig site necklace. And then we'll get a little bit of food. Wait, what did I buy? I bought food recently. Didn't I? I'm sure I bought lobsters. Lobsters was what I bought recently. That should be plenty. Can always drop them because they're cheap as fuck. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. We got our auto cast set to ice burst. We're gonna put our quick prayers on Mystic Might and Protect from Melee because Mystic Might gives us an extra 2% of magic strength. Right now, our magic strength is plus three, plus five with that on. Now, if we get an occult necklace, it will go up and I may consider it. We'll just see how it goes. I am going to go all the way through to this other spot because I like the corner over here. It's a nice corner right here. I guess we just get those ranges. Nice and stacked up. I'm not doing it right, but we'll get there. Just trying to get the ranges tagged at the minute. I think I've got them both. They got them in awkward positions on this first sort of rotation, but I think after they respawn, we should be okay. So that's what we want. We want to get one of them there and one of them there. And then we know we're only being hit by one at a time. Means we can tank for a lot longer before having to blood. Ooh, we got a hard clue. I don't know how good my rates are, but maybe I should just reset all my hourly rates. Because I think my magic is confused with all the teleporting and shit I did at the start of the day. I'm going to drop the hard clue. Try and keep it on the floor because we might get more of them. going to be here for the rest of the day now, y'all. Chilling and killing. Now, you actually just freeze them and walk out of the range from what I remember. I only just remembered that, like, literally that second. But I'm not getting aggroed from all these ones around here when I do that. So you got to be careful with how long you do it for. Because you don't want to lose the stack. Is my auto retaliate? Okay, that's probably not helping either. I need to be precise with who I'm attacking, so... I wonder if it's worth a defense pot. Like, it's not bad, don't get me wrong. We can definitely deal with the amount of damage we're taking. I'd just rather not spend blood runes if I don't have to, because they are so expensive. I, I'm wondering if the, the defense might just be the more cost-effective option, like a super defense pot, but it's hard to tell. We are looking at about 100k magic XP an hour and 40k defense XP an hour, so maybe not too great for training defense specifically, but... Just take a moment to heal up here. <laughs> oh no, they move back in. This is what we want. We want one of the rangers frozen here, and they're both in the little bubble. Do need to watch my HP though. I could even stand under one, couldn't I? Okay, I think certain things like the adamant mace are gonna have to get hidden, because we can't pick up that much stuff with ancients. So we can't alk stuff as we go. We're getting into the flow of it a bit more now. A combination of blood and ice burst is what makes this viable. You do need both multi-targets, not just one of the early ones. I think it just helps so much. Because you can always freeze them and run out of range. They only have like a five tile range and all it takes is one or two blood bursts to be back up to a reasonable HP. Oh shit, I haven't even had mad mystic might on all this time i thought my prey was draining so it's because when i came in i just put pre melee on so that it didn't drain it when i was getting set up and then i guess i just never put it on i'm not doing the best job at stacking these up i will say that say the invents filling up with loot pretty quick so that was my hope with this place is that it would pay for itself the runes would pay for themselves because the loot's decent enough a lot of it's noted as well having a herb pouch 
would go a long way, but there's there's no way we're getting a hurt pouch on this account ever, so. Uh, it looks like we just ran out of that grow. So I'll just go reset real quick. No axes yet, but as a reminder, that zombie axe is like a one in eight hundred drop rate, I think. It's worth like almost two mil, at least it was when I last checked. Lord knows if it still is. Ooh, two five of key. Another drop those. Guess I must have access to the gem drop table or I don't know, it could just be those, but we are almost full now on the invent space. So thinking maybe like three prayer pots a trip might be the optimal way. We've gone through two so far. And that might be like a a double reset on the uh the aggro. Like one one reset, you know. We do like 20 minute trips on three prayer pots and then bank because full invent. Like I don't have space to pick up this aventure right now. To be honest, I've been eating most of my lobsters just because I want the invent space. So it saves me blood runes and it lets me keep casting. Uh, no, it doesn't let me keep casting. What am I talking about? It saves me blood runes though. I'm really not stacking them up well today. Let me try and do it better. I'm going to have to drop the Addy arrows. We don't have room for that shite. What else can I drop? Because I need to drop stuff. Oh, I picked up that clue to even realise. Oh my gosh. Too many herbs. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Should always keep like one food, shouldn't I? Oh, I don't know what to do about these herbs on the floor. That's so much money. I think I'm gonna have to leave soon because I don't like having to leave shit on the floor. Makes me feel super inefficient. And more stuff's just gonna keep spawning, you see what I mean? Like, that's 5k on the floor. I know that's not a lot of money, but like, it'll just keep spawning, so it'll add up. Oh, we got a zombie axe! We got a zombie axe! I'm kinda glad I stayed just a few seconds longer! Holy shit, I'm gonna drop my 4k coins. I'm gonna pick that up and I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. What a lovely, lovely, lovely present for us. How much is that worth? 1.97 mil. Get in. Look at that. I told you this place was going to pay for itself. It is a good first day to be back, y'all. Even if I did start this at a terrible time and I'm going to miss 420. Look at the progress we've made already with today. It has been fan. Fantastic. Okay, we'll get those blood runes back out. I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm going to get pretty much straight back out there and spend the rest of the session there, except for some time to slap that axe on the GE. In fact, should we just go put the axe right on the GE? Just get it up there so it can be on offer. Lovely stuff. Where are our Varrock teleports? Let's go. Oh, that's such a nice little cash infusion. You know, a couple more of them and we might be looking at some better gear for raids than we anticipated. Okay, I probably shouldn't put it in at 2 point. Yeah, it said 1.97. I don't know why it went in so high. I'm fine with that. If someone pays that for it, I'm fine. If they don't, I'll lower it a bit more. I don't know how much they commonly go for, but they have to be pretty in demand. Maybe people just buy the made ones because they're cheaper. Are they cheaper or are they more? Oh well, either way, let's go to big site. Got lost for a minute there. Buzzing. What a start. What an absolute start. Now the XP hasn't been too crazy, but it's good. It's about as good as we're going to get magic wise. And defense wise, it's not great, but it's better than not having any defense at all. I even go back to my cash stack in time. Yeah, it's, it, it will save as defense training, even though the XP from it isn't incredible. It will save as time training defense through melee, but we will still end up training defense through melee, I think, from what I can tell. Why are none of you frozen? They just dropped so many decent herbs. I think that's where a lot of the profit comes in as well. It's not even just the axes, the herbs. The herbs are so good. Prayer is draining a lot quicker though now that I... Uh, actually have my mystic might that's the thing if we did go for an occult we'd be losing 10 prayer bonus from the dragon bone necklace and i just feel like our prayer is going to be draining so quick then that it's probably not worth the extra five percent 
magic damage buff from the occult. I don't even know what KC that was. I should have checked. Completely forgot because I was so hype in the moment. We're on 163 at the minute, so it was ridiculously early. I remember going dry for it on my uh, main iron man. A very good weapon, it's just not stab, which is what we're going to want for the raid that we're doing specifically, so... It's not good for us in our specific circumstances. But like, for, for an iron man that can't get a whip yet, that weapon is actually insane. I was annoyed because by the time I got to it, I was like one or two slayer levels away from the whip anyway. But at the same time, for any any new iron mans, like the the axe is incredible. Trust me, that is his stepping stone towards the whip. Some places it's even better than a whip because it hits higher, and if the attack speed being lower doesn't matter, if you're like flinching or something, then it's actually better. So, or if you need crush because it has a crush style as well. But yeah, for stab it is uh, not an option. We're running around too much, I run out of energy. Maybe I should bring Stam here to help me set them up cleaner. Oh, we've lost Agra. Time for a quick reset. Don't have much prayer left anyway. I may end up doing a birdhouse today just because I'm leaving anyway because my prayer's out. Maybe four pots is better. The three was judged on me incorrectly and leaving my mystic might off, so four, maybe even five. Okay, we are out of prayer doses officially. I don't even know if we have any in the bank, so... Maybe I'll head to the GE, slightly lower the price of the zombie axe to see if it sells. Maybe I'll put it at like 1.8 mil, because honestly that's still ridiculous. Get some more prayer pots for the next part of the grind. Guess we're gonna need them, whether we're here or Scurrius. It's gonna be a lot, so... Probably invest in a whole a bunch of prayer pots. Flicking here is not really feasible. There's enough to concentrate on it anyway. Winding them up and getting your blood in so you don't accidentally die. I think that's probably a good stopping point. We just finished off like most of a wave. And we're about to run out of prayer. There it goes. Off we go. Overall we spent about 35 minutes there-ish today. Killed 273 armored zombies for one zombie axe and a bunch of other loot. I'm just going to dump that there, go to the Grand Exchange. And yeah, we'll take this down ever so slightly. We'll take these down. 1857. Instabot. Look at that, an extra 2 mil in the pocket. Feels so good to have. We've got all these mahogany as well. I completely forgot about them. Okay. That's 1,100 mahogany. Let's get those herbs as well that we just brought back with us. And we'll have some planks. Can't forget about the planks. Look at all this profit coming in. Hell, uh, I'm just going to grab random shit that we have that we don't need and sell it. That's money. More money. The price of our NAS isn't great at the minute. They already have some for tomorrow though, so that's all good. Holy shit. So we've got 7.5 mil in miscellanea and 5.7 mil in the pocket. That's like 12.5 in total. We are stacked at the minute. Absolutely stacked. Time to spend some of that money on prayer pots. Do we need that many? How much are super restores? What's the difference? Because I'll be taking super restores to raids. That is not that much different, honestly. But we don't need them just yet. Okay, I'm going to go prayer. I'm gonna go 50. Let's not be quite so outlandish. That's still quite a lot, isn't it, though? <laughs> and then I am gonna go ahead and just knock out a bird arse run, seeing as though I'm sat here at the bank and I've got time. Again, like I said, I'll probably be missing the bird houses most of the time, but just sat here anyway with the way my trip ended. Still can't believe I missed 420 for you guys. Currently 428, and my soul is ever so slightly weaker for it. I'm not gonna get this last one down. Fuck it. Just gonna teleport away. Then I don't have to... Wait, why did the alarm not go off? Oh, I'll need to set it up for... There we go. Okay, we have sorted that out for the future. My timers will play. It's a good job I had an eye on it right then. Well, folks, what has our first day back been like? As you can see over on the right-hand side of your screen, We've made about 4.5 mil today. 
So it's not too bad all in all. You know, we've had a pretty, pretty fucking good return here. The XP is a little less, but actually, never mind. We've done just fine on the XP rates. That is a decent day of XP. That's about the same as we'd get from melee training, but for magic instead. Huh. I was expecting less than that. I thought we'd been way less efficient, but that is very, very decent. I think a lot of it comes from hit points, actually. Because you get a lot more hit points XP with hitting multiple instead of more magic XP, necessarily. Or defense. We are still going to need to go and get some defense levels, though, because that one is the slowest by far that we've been training. So that's going to be on the to-do list, and we, we still didn't even get a magic level today. You know, we got very decent amount of XP with 56k there, but we didn't get a level. Although we did only spend like 35 minutes there. Sorry, mysterious old man, I can't speak to you today. But yeah, that was, that was a pretty damn good day, right? We just made so much money. We've got money still in miscellaneous we've got herbs planted and everything oh my gosh what a way to return i hope y'all enjoyed the show today as much as i enjoyed making it i'm gonna go and edit it straight away because no delay I need to get this out for you all so that i can start working on the next one when i've slept i have to sleep before playing again man dumbass idea was this series on that note, please do leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know how happy you are that the show's back. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of the future content on this channel, including more episodes of One Hour Limit Lock, the Wild West series that's coming after, and maybe even RuneScape Party, a new idea I've been toying with. I'm going to find out more about that into my Discord server in the link below. And I will stop plugging things and go for my late 433 spliff. Look after yourself. Be lovely to one another. I will see you on the next one tomorrow.